Nerdy Dude Stuff. What is going on, everybody? I'm Oprius, and welcome to a brand new video about cryptocurrency and all that good stuff. Um, today, I am going to be going back to mining, which I haven't done since I did my Electronium video. And the coin we're going to be talking about today is Verge. Now, um, Verge is a coin that's very similar to uh, Monero and Zcash in the aspect that it's like a privacy coin for your IP addresses used on like the dark web and stuff like that. Um, and you might be asking yourself, well, Prius, why did you decide to pick Verge and not just like the big dogs? And the reason being is that the difficulty for Verge is very, very low. Um, it's an easy coin for someone like myself to mine who is more of a hobby miner. And I'm not looking to accumulate a mass amount of the coins because my miner doesn't have the strong powers of real mining rigs because it's only, you know, two, three GPUs. It's like two and a half GPUs because my 750 Ti doesn't count. Um, so I have decided to pick Verge. Uh, looking at its charts here real quick, um, Verge is exchanged on uh, all the big markets, um, Binance, Bittrex, Ubit, um, Binance again, uh, Craptopia, HitBTC, Yobit. So it's a very um, active and heavy traded coin. Let's take a look at its market cap right now. It's currently sitting at rank number 26 on coin market cap, so it is a top 50 coin. We're looking at a 1 billion, 1.2 billion uh, supply, 121,000 uh, Bitcoin worth, and it's traded at about 7,000 Bitcoin, about 71 million in volume for the past 24 hours. Max supply is 16 billion Verge tokens, so it's not going to be one of those big like $20 tokens or coins with a circulating supply of about 14.5 billion. So there's 2 billion coins still left to be discovered so that's not too bad um, like I said it is traded on uh, Bittrex and you can just you know pull it up here um, while I'm on Bittrex a cool thing about Verge is you can mine it to either a, an external wallet that you have saved on your computer or you can mine it to like I can mine it to the Bittrex exchange now with it being a privacy token and with how funky exchanges can sometimes be and how everyone has their own opinion about each and every exchange whether they like them or they hate them I know there's some hate for Bittrex but it's one of the first exchanges I discovered and got on so this video is going to cover me um, doing this with a wallet on my miner on my PC the links in the descriptions below for uh, not Bittrex but for the miner for um, the wallet and for the pool that we're going to be using. So you're going to want to go to vergecurrency.com. This is where you're going to get your wallet. Uh, you can go up in the top corner or you can download the wallet for uh, Windows right here on the main screen. But they do also offer wallets for um, Mac and um, Linux. Now they also offer a few different wallet options. I downloaded the, uh, elect the Electrum wallet because that doesn't require me to download the entire blockchain and it's quick and simple. Um, I'm not going to get into downloading uh, and talking about the Tor wallet because um, you guys know the deal with Tor. So everything on the laptop, uh, everything on the screen here, I'm not actually going to be doing. Uh, you will need to click that yourself because I've already done this on my miner, which we're going to remote into here in a moment. So in a perfect world, what you would do is you click on the Verge to Windows. If you're on Windows, uh, the Electrum wallet or the uh, Linux Electrum wallet or the um, Apple Electrum Wallet. So let's pretend I clicked on download Verge to Windows Electrum Wallet. It's about 25 megabit or um, it's about 25 megabytes. So it was a really quick download. So while it's downloaded, you'll see that here in a couple minutes in the video. Up next, um, if you're familiar with mining, this is um, I use CC Miner because I have GTX graphics cards, so they're NVIDIA. Uh, I don't have a lot of play or background with AMD. So my mining video is for CC Miner, which is compatible with NVIDIA GPUs. So you're going to download the miner. Link is going to be in the description as well. You want to make sure you know what operating your system you're on. I have a Windows operating system, 64-bit um, operating system, so I have that miner um, ready to go. Next, you're going to use your pool. Now, there's not really a lot of pools with um, Verge available, and there is another one. This is not a the pool I'm using is not a United a US pool. The US pool is I think it's called Z pool, and it's got a 20% fee. So I'm not using that pool. I am using Yimp. That's Y I I M P dot E U, and I haven't discovered the pool fee yet. But um, 
It's got a lot of cool options. It's got uh, payouts are every three hours for all balances above 0.001. Um, 0 0.01 Monday through Saturday, 0 0.001 on Sunday. It's like they don't want to work that much. Um, so it, this is the pool I'm using for the Verge coin. Now, we are going to pull up my, um, not my face, we're going to pull up my miner, and we're going to go from there. So the first thing I did was I downloaded the wallet, and we're going to pull up the wallet here, and after you download it, you want to zip the file to your desktop, yada, blah, 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 and then as soon as you have your wallet open, this is what the folder is going to look like. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to Electrum-XVG, and I think mine's already running, so you're going to go ahead and double click and run that. When you first run it, it's going to start by uh, asking you to jot down the eight-word passcode, so in case your computer ever dies, you're going to have your eight-word passcode that's going to help you recover the wallet. Uh, and then you're going to uh, input that and move forward. I've already done everything, so you're not going to see it on the screen. After the wallet is up and running, you're going to go, right now it's offline, but right then you're going to go over to receive to get yourself a wallet address for your miner. Uh, so all you're going to do is, the screen's going to be blank, you're going to have your receiving address, then you're going to put a description, my description is NDS for nerdy dude stuff, you can put it whatever you want, and then the big crucial thing is you want to make sure that expires on never. It's going to give you a couple of options, one day, two day, three day, and then never. That's in case you know you want to receive a transaction of Verge tokens from somebody, you only want to give them the wallet address for a day. I have mine set to never, and then I'm going to minimize this because we are now good to mine. Okay, next up, we are going to, as soon as you have your CC Miner downloaded and ready to go, you're going to pull up the CC Miner folder. You're going to create a new text document. So you're going to right click, you're going to do new, and you're going to do a text document. So let's imagine I did that, and I did do that. <laughs> so we're actually going to pull up my uh, bat file. So after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is go back to the mining pool uh, and you're going to want to get their algorithm in their script. I have written the script for you. It's in the description below. The only thing you're going to need to do is change the um, add your wallet address and change um, the mining rig name to whatever you decide. Uh, so your bat file, so you're going to do a new text document. You can copy and paste what I've already written for you. i got to make sure I pull up the right screen. You're going to copy and paste what I've already written for you in the description below. It's using ccminer.ex on the x17 algorithm. I've already set a little bit of the difficulties for you. It's very, very easy. We're using the yimp.eu um, pool, and we're using port 3737, and that's for the x17 algorithm. Next, the username is going to be the wallet address that you were able to create in your Verge wallet, and then .nds, because that's the name of my mining rig, and I can look up the stats. So after that, you're going to hit File, you're going to hit Save As, and you're going to save that as whatever you want to name it. Mine is personally called Verge.bat. Now, I'm not going to save this because I've already have it saved, but this is exactly what you do. You hit Save, you're done, you close out the, um, the text document, which will now be your bat file, which will be good to mine. So in a perfect setting, in the perfect world, if you've done everything right, and your drivers are updated, and everything's good to go, double click on the miner, it'll be mining like that. Now we're going to let this fire up for a couple of minutes. We're going to wait for a couple of confirmations. I did run this earlier so I can get a rough estimate. I didn't run it for, uh, I only ran it for about 10 minutes while the GPUs were firing up and I have not um, overclocked or anything, but I was averaging at about eight mega hashes on, um, on Verge and we'll do a mining calculator here in a moment. So we'll start off small, we've got our first confirmation there, and now we start to see the hashes are going up. So you see right now we're at 4,493 on the hash power. And yep, it's running behind me perfectly. So we're gonna let that churn for a couple of seconds here, just to get a couple more confirmations, a couple more yes, yes, yes. And we're gonna wait to see what the difficulty currently is. See, now we jumped up to almost 7,000 kilohashes right there. waiting for some blue numbers here, and then we're going to show you the mining calculator. This started stabilizing, like slowing down around 8,100 kilohashes. 
Um, and that's with just the regular settings on my, you can see the graphics card I'm mining on, GTX 1050 Ti. That's a four gigabyte. I have two of those, and then I have a GTX 750 Ti. That's a two gigabyte. All right, so current difficulty is 4,662. So we're letting that run. We're going to go ahead and just minimize that because the miner is running behind me. We're going back to the laptop, going into our Verge mining calculator. I've already plugged in 8,000 kilohashes. Um, I'm not calculating the power cost. I, you know, we could talk about that later, but I just put the power cost zero. I'm just interested in the um, how many coins I can generate. Current difficulty was at about 4,500. We'll just leave it at that. We're going to hit calculate. As we go down, uh, we are going to see that my machine can probably churn out 2.2 verge tokens an hour and then it can churn out uh, 55 Verge tokens a day, 385 tokens a week, 1,650 a month, and 20,000 Verge tokens a year. So that, that translates to about 22 cents an hour, $5.26 at the current rate, and this is with difficulty and everything included. Um, here's the stats here. So that's something I can definitely hang on to and I can mine this coin. Um, but I personally am mining Electronium. And I think you guys all know that that's the coin that I enjoy the most uh, and I believe heavily in. So this one is just hanging out, but I wanted to show you guys how to mine the Verge token. All right. Quick, shameless self-promotion plugs. Um, I have a Discord server. So if you guys want to join that, link is in the description and you're more than welcome to hang out. Uh, I do enjoy the Discord server. Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything other than the free. I haven't talked about this in a few videos, um, but you guys know what this is. I give out Satoshi every single Sunday worth of Bitcoin. All you have to do is play your hourly role. Um, the more active everyone is, we have 104 people that are playing underneath me right now. I've given out 25,000 worth of Satoshis every Sunday. 80% uh, of what is earned up in my Satoshi pool is shared to my most active referrals and active people on my team. So if you're super active, then you're going to get the bigger piece of the pie. Um, you do your hourly roll with free BTC, and then you do your multiply BTC roll here. Set it to minimum. Try to lose three times in a row. Set it to... 10, bet high again, I lost again. But you get the point. You're not trying to get rich. You just want to go to the Satoshi pool. And I love the fact that no one has yet to tell me that this is like a waste of time or anything. This is like the one fun fart thing that I do that I haven't had neg negative feedback on yet. Whereas, you know, I pull up something like, and I'm going to shamelessly promote here for a second as well, um, the Lendex coin ICO that I'm currently hanging out with. Looks like they have an update, which I got to read through here. Um, nine days left on this ICO. Yes, it's going to be a lending platform, but I am interested in getting the coin at 80 cents a piece and then waiting until the internal exchange opens up and those coins are worth $25. So link in the description below for that as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions about mining, please leave me a comment below. Let's pull up the screen while I do my closing so you can watch it mine as I close out. And you can see we're sitting at 8,100 um, kilo hashes, or I think it's, that's actually eight mega hashes. But, um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concern, please uh, leave a comment below. I'll try my best to help. Also, um, there's a great amount of community members underneath me that have helped other members with their electronium mining as well if I can't answer your question. So please, please do that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Looks like we're still climbing. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I am pushing for 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm only 50 eight away and I think when I hit a thousand I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one hundred dollars worth of Ethereum. <gasps> so leave um, a comment with your Ethereum address if you want as well. Anything from this video on since I said that will be entered to win a hundred dollars in Ethereum when I hit a thousand subscribers and we'll do that on a video. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you like the mining tutorial. If you want to see more uh, throw some coins in there. I prefer right now not to do any coins that are lending program based because I'm going to be talking about Lendex when that releases but I, if someone has asked me about Stenium, um, Davor, and Falcon Coin but I, I want to use some coins with some utilization like the Verge token and ones that are easier to mine for small people like me. Oh, we didn't get a, we had an invalid share. Oh well. Um, so leave a comment below and uh, I'm Oprias. We'll see you guys next time.